in Vetro, yes. part of our duct package here is duct, microduct bundle, and then microducts in there, right? And so one thing we can do in Vetro using our digitizing tools, as an example, is we could take the line layer in here and say for a given microduct bundle, we want to indicate that we have two in that bundle. And then just kind of manually draw this. But one thing we've recently deployed here is this quick route tool, which will really save you some time. And what quick route tool allows you to do is draw perfectly coincident lines along a given path, right? And so we may start at the central office. We may want to go up to this cabinet as far as our for our all of our ducks, right? Our our duck segments, bundle segments in this case. And so for that, we're telling the quick connect or the quick route tool here to duplicate that geometry. We can select a microduct bundle. Can indicate that the count is two there, and click save. So that's a great tool if I'm trying to pull another fiber in a, in a duct that I don't have to go back and draw it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a huge time saver. Now, as far as attributing these separately, right? And so we've got we've got a bank of ducts or a duct bundle in here. We've got a count here too, but you'll notice that in this bundle we have two microducts contained in here as well. And so you can kind of think about this as like a contained by relationship, right? We might have a bundle that contains two microducts, and we might want to manage those separately. And so what we have the ability to do is click on that that bundle there, and see what it contains for microduct IDs. We can navigate to a specific microduct and access the attribution for that microduct give it color attribution, give it um, size designation here as well. And so we can manage those things by simply drawing it one time, manage the attribution associated with each individual duct in that bundle separately. And can you change that size? I mean, I saw a drop down that came in. So if I had a one inch duct, could it be changed? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So all of that is powered by our attribute table. Went into our microduct layer in here, open up the attribute table, go to size. This is one of those single select fields. So this is a great example. We can add an option like okay. one inch here, not foot. And we can organize these as well. So if we wanted to move this up in kind of ascending value here. The other thing that comes up frequently is, you know, having the visibility to track, let's say, which ducts contain fiber, right? Um, yes. you know, we don't have x-ray machines on site typically or MRI tools. Um, and so being able to like assign a fiber to a specific microduct is, is paramount. And then being able to report on, let's say, which of our microducts are available and which ones are contained. And so kind of talking along that contained by relationship in Vetro, that goes all the way down to the fiber cable itself as well. And so in the event that I have something that is coincident with a fiber cable here, I can click on the cable, which is this uh, South to St. Paul 144 cable. I can assign this to one of my coincident ducts, just like that. And we'll see that contained by relationship there. And then likewise, what that looks like from a hierarchical standpoint is that if I wanted to look at the bundle itself, I can see microducts contained in that bundle. I can drop this down and see that this specific microduct within that bundle has one cable that it's containing and see the cable itself and then some navigational tools to actually go to that cable's attribution.